to the Valley of the Old Farm. I am Farmer Min. Today we're going to take a look at this new, cool, highly anticipated, highly debated um, mod pack out the um, Massey Ferguson 300 series pack. This is by Peter J. and I Modding. Here is what the description reads. The Massey Ferguson 300 series is a range of outstandingly versatile medium horsepower trackers that was produced between 1987 and 1997, being ideally suited to meet the needs of arable, dairy, or mixed farming operations. It is one of the world's biggest selling tractor ranges in this power category. Uh, they also have a loaders with it that combine the highest standards of design, material specifications, and manufacturing processes to give outstanding material handling. What this pack includes is Tractors 362, 365, 372, 375, 382, 383, 390, 390T, 398, and 399. Also includes loaders 810, 880, and 893 with front weights of 270 kilograms and a box weight of 120 kilograms. Uh, the 300 series tractors of Massey Ferguson were very, very popular. Um, the specialty models were actually built in Italy in the uh, low to mid-range horsepower market. Um, most of these tractors range from 40 horsepower to 100 horsepower, with most of them uh, being built in British and Italian factories. Um, some were actually built in Turkey as well. Um, they also had a 300 O series which was um, built with high-tech electronics that were built in France that were released in 86 and they covered the 90 horsepower to 170 horsepower horsepower range. Um, most of these um, from what I understand were ranged from three to six cylinder engines and had a variety of gearbox options so quite versatile and uh, quite popular. Now the with the options in this in the pack I have 36 different variants of tractors on the lot here, so you do have a plethora of options when choosing. Basically how I have this broken down is there are one, two, three, four, five, kind of five series, I would, I would say. Uh, when you go into the store, they're going to be under tractors. And they start right here at the Massey Ferguson 362. As you remember, we have the 100 series here, we have a 200 series, and then if you go to the old generation pack, we have um, some 600 series here too. So we have a lot of old Massey Ferguson tractors. Now these um, kind of broke down this way. 362 to 382, 365 to 390, 398 to 399, the 383 WRC, and the 399 Turbo. So we're going to look at each individual group, and then we'll go through the options and prices and stuff like that. So let's start with the 362 to 382. You can see a base price of 34000 um, These are going to range horsepower from 62 to 71 to 78 horsepower. In case you're wondering, um, the slot count is 12, 12 slots per tractor, um, 24 miles per hour road speed. So if we go into here, you're going to see that you have some options. Attachers, you have standard front linkage, and that's it. The front loader attacher, either no or the MF810. You have engine setup, 362, which is going to be 62 horsepower, 372, 71 horsepower, 382, 78 horsepower. Wheel setup, you have a lot of choices. Standard, front wheel fenders, narrow tires, narrow tires plus fender, rear twin wheels, rear twin wheels plus fender, twin wheels, twin wheels plus fender, road tires, and <laughs> road tires plus fender. So basically what you got is you got standard, narrow, twin, road, and then you have the uh, plus fender option with that. Okay, I have a bunch of these here on the lot. Let's take a look. Um, this starts off with the 362, the 362. These are clean. These are crisp. They're detailed. They're what we have come to expect from the other um, 
Peter J. Massey Ferguson tractors, and I like them a lot. These are probably um, my favorite tractor in the game. I mean, I, I, I absolutely love them. Um, you get into it. There's my uh, girl character there. Um, you have some cool details in here. That seat is just awesome. Um, all the controls, all the buttons. What's also pretty neat is when we start this up, I can't really, I, could, I suppose I could in edit, zoom in, but look at the tack, the RPM gauge, and the fuel gauge when I start this tractor. Okay, fuel gauge clicks up. So I'm assuming that that fuel gauge might actually work. So as you drive the tractor and the fuel level goes down, that gauge might go down. If I drive it, RPMs increase. So that gauge works. That's pretty cool. Um, from the outside, we look at lights. You have three stage lights. You have one work light in the back here. Uh, turn signals. They're pretty cool. Beacon light. Now that's pretty cool. Beacon light. Headlights. Very nice. Yep. Oh wait, you have one, two, three, yeah, three stage. So you have two work lights in the front, one work light in the back. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. That is that that is pretty nifty. So this one is just kind of the base of the 362. Uh, it's got standard. Um, does not have a front attacher, uh, standard tires, and the footstep, which is right there. Okay. Now. If you go on, you're going to see a 372 here. You know, from the, you know, except for the uh, number on the side of the tractor, pretty much the same. This one, however, is going to have the front fenders. Oops, I kind of got a little too close here. Let me just, yeah, so there you have the front fenders and the footstep, plus you have the ROPS, which is the roll bar. So when you add in the roll bar here, it kind of changes a little thing. You've got your um, your beacon light up there as well. So yeah, so there's kind of the that's, that's kind of the first distance difference when you add in the front linkage, which is basically just you know PTO shaft in the front and your front loader attachment right here with fenders and the roll bar. Okay. Now when you get into the third one here. You're going to see these are narrow tires. Okay, so there's a narrow tire option. And this one has the low profile. So when you go back into the store, you can see that um, the footstep, the footstep, the roll bar, this is the low profile option right here, which is basically the cab. Okay, so that would be the cab, front linkage, front attacher, narrow tires, no fenders. When you go inside, you have a nice cab, kind of adds in some more detail here. The seat changes a little bit. That's pretty cool. Uh, more of an interior kind of seat. Um, got some switches on the side. I'm assuming the same thing works. Yes, fuel gauge comes up. That comes up. Um, on the inside, you don't you don't have any indicator lights on the inside. Uh, I don't see any interior lights or anything, but that's okay. You know. The detail is pretty darn cool. Um, I like that a lot. Now, you do have... No, you don't have. I was expecting some interactive controls, but I... The doors and the windows. I don't get nothing out of that. So I don't see any doors or any windows unlike like the other ones. So you don't have that. But that's pretty cool. So that's how that one works. Um, this one here would just be a 382 with um, um, narrow tires and fenders. So that just kind of gives you the, the, the fender option. And of course, um, this one has uh, just the footstep. So when you add in the low profile, that gives you the cab. So even though you have a 382, you can still have it without a cab. Here's a 382 with twin tires in the back. Here's a 382, you know, just this kind of the setup with the roll bar, the uh, fenders and rear tires in the back. And here you have a 382 with twin tires all around with a cab and a 382 
no cab, no front linkage, no um, loader, and dual tires, twin tires all around. So you have a lot of options in those trackers, and you can kind of customize it to whatever you want. Cab, no cab, row bar, row bar. You know, you have the fenders if you want. That's pretty nifty. I like that. So that's the 362 to the 382. Give you a breakdown of that series. Pretty nifty. Okay. The second series is the 365 to 390T. Whoops. I think I'm going... No, these are, these are back here. Yep. So... Where'd my 365 go? I thought I had a 365. Well, we go into tractors. Oh, I must have <laughs> I must have borrowed it. Um, is this my 365? Ah, no, it's 362. I must have borrowed it. There's my 365. No, it's 362 as well. Oh, there it is. I borrowed it for the loader option. Um, but anyways, it's going to be the same. It's, it's just the number. Um, but here, let's go and take a look. Uh, 365 to 390T, base price 35300 These horsepower is going to go from 65 to 71 to 80 to 90. So front loader attacher, you have no front guard or the MF880 loader. Engine setup, 365, 75, 90, 390T. Wheel setup, you have some choices here. Two-wheel drive, two-wheel drive narrow, standard. Front fin fenders, narrow tires, narrow tires, fender, wide tires, wide tires, fender, rear twin wheels, rear twin wheels, fender, twin wheels, twin wheels, fender, road tires. <laughs> so you have some options as well. Design, you have footstep, low profile, and this time you have a high line option, which I'll explain the difference here in a second. Um, without going through all the difference, here you can see narrow tires, two wheel drive, I believe, the cab. Here's the front guard on this one here uh, just to go inside it's, it's kind of the same setup as the other ones um, the lights the sounds pretty cool um, I don't have any interactive controls beacon lights so it's kind of the same same concept same thing um, you understand that front fenders of course is an option now when you get to the cabs let's see if I can find a difference here um, here's a difference I think I think this is I'm trying to find the difference between the, the high line cab and the low profile this one I think is a low profile cab kind of lower this one's up higher I think that's the difference in the two cabs because um, on this tractor here I have the road tires see the road tire difference here and the um, Highline cab this tractor here I have in um, the low profile cab with the twin wheels fenders so that's kind of the difference I think is in the cab just kind of the shape of the cab um, on the inside you know it's pretty it's pretty much the same thing but it's just the cab Height, or uh, that's what that's what I'm assuming. Let's just whoa, hey buckets! I'm going all over the place. Let's just jump in here. I think. Well, no, is the cab the same? I think the cab might be just a little bit different. This one looks a little different. You got the radio up here in the corner. You got uh, lights over there. Fuse box with like a fan switch there. So maybe it is a little different on the inside. We're gonna get in the wrong way here, but that. No, I guess not. That's kind of the same. Uh, but if you notice on the uh, side of the cab, this one says Highline Plus, and this one of Low Profile Plus. So it just must be in the cab, the cab. But yeah, otherwise, you know, the tire options are the same. Here's duels in the back, fenders, front guard. Uh, you can take a different approach to it you can customize the tractor in different ways um, you know here's a 390 and a 390T kind of almost set up the same the 390T has uh, let me see what did I have on here uh, wide tires and fenders 
wide tires yeah so you know this is wide tires wide tires and fenders so yeah all kinds of options for that the uh, the 365 to the 390t they're pretty cool um, let's see what else can I point out when you go to the narrow tires uh, you see how the rim ch rims change so here's a narrow tire rim compared to the the standard rim so that is a difference when you go to the narrow tires um, there also is a difference I'm trying to th I'll try to find one here that um, I can explain it to let's see um, I thought there was a difference when you go into a tractor I must have one with the front Oh, I'm trying to think here. Oh, maybe I can find one later. But there was a difference in the cab with the, when you have a front attacher, you get a joystick in the cab. Um, and I'm trying to find that out here. Not that one. Would be like a. Um, no, I'll have to find one. Maybe it wasn't a different series. But when you have a front attacher, you get like a, a joystick in the cab. So that's a, that's a big difference. Um, let's go to the next ones. Um, the options are basically going to be kind of the same, um, just depending on how you look at it. This The third option would be the 398 to 399. So these are going to be 93 horsepower and 104 horsepower. You have a front loader attacher, no front guard. Yes, engine setup 398 or 399. You have two-wheel drive, standard front wheel fenders, PAVT rim. I'll explain that in a second. PAVT rim and fender, wide tires, twin wheels, twin wheels, fender, road tires, road tires, fender, two-wheel drive. You have standard or forestry. Okay. So. This first one is a 398. This has no um, front attacher. It's two-wheel drive and it's standard design right here. Okay. This is Highline cab. So all these tractors are going to have a cab. So you don't have a choice of no cab or cab. So all these tractors have a Highline cab in them. This one here is a uh, 399 front guard standard forestry edition so the forestry edition is just the kind of the cage um we i think we've seen that before on different versions so that's the that's the forestry version compared to the standard now when you get into this one this has a front loader attacher so i'm gonna just, i think this one will be, be able to show the difference when you go on the cab yes right here you have the added joystick right here so that's a front loader attacher in the uh, tractor if you go to one that does not have it like this one you lose that joystick right here on the right by the um, other one so that that was what i was trying to explain um, the difference in the cab so yeah so front loader attacher there um, Oh, let's see fenders no fenders you can see the difference there um, this is the difference in that uh, PAVT rim right here this is the PAVT rim right there this would be the well that one has a PAVT standard rim there so that's what the PAVT rim is kind of a little well, kind of a pretty cool design in that um, I probably should have looked up what PAVT stands for. I've never heard of it. Um, let me see if I get anything when I uh, spin out rim help. PAVT. Um, spin out rims for Massey Ferguson. That's kind of what they say. PAVT wheels. Um, yeah. Huh. Interesting. I never, I never knew that. And they're adjustable according to um, what I can, what I see. Spin out. Huh. Okay. So that's what PAVT is. 
Um, other than that, I can't think of any other thing that I can really tell you about these this series. Here you can just see, of course, the options. Road tires here on the end. Um, you know, twin wheels with fenders, twin wheels without. Here's a forestry version on this 399. So, yeah. So, that's basically about it for that. Uh, just... Uh, Kind of the thing that stands out to me is all this series has a cab, so you can't change the cab or no cab option on that. They are all going to have the Highline cab. Okay, pretty cool. Um, then over here you have just kind of a smaller group. This is a 383 WRC. These are 81 horsepower tractors. Um, the options here, if we go into the store, whoops, those are headers. I don't, not talking about headers. The 383 WRC, they start at 41,000, um, 81 horsepower. Here your options are front loader attacher, no front guard, and the 880 loader. You have footstep, the ROPS plus canopy, and the high line. Okay. So, um, this first one is the front step footstep that's the option on that one this one is the ROPS and canopy basically the roll bar plus canopy okay and with front guard and this one here is the Highline cab so those are your options for um, that tractor uh, other than that I think they're all kind of the same let's just go in this one here but I think it's pretty much yeah kind of the same design on the inside yep so you can either have it open now when you have the standard um, footstep you do get the the roll bar so the roll bar is on there regardless roll bar with canopy or highline cab so that's that tractor 81 horsepower a um, little more spendy finally the last series of tractors is a 399 turbo these are all starting right here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. So let's go into the store. The 399 Turbo, 66,200 to start. These are 124 horsepower tractors. So these are these are the big boys of the group. Um, 12 slots, same thing. You have attachers. You have standard front guard plus front linkage. Uh, front loader attacher, you have no or yes. Wheel setup, you have standard front fenders, PAVT rim, PAVT rim and fenders, wide tires, twin wheels, twin wheels and fender, road tires, road tires and fender. And the design is going to be either standard or dual beacon. Okay. So just to look at some of the differences, here's the first one. Um, kind of standard, uh, single beacon. Um... Uh, Inside the Highline cab is going to be the same. Yep. This one here is going to have the front guard with the uh, fenders and the dual beacons. So if you look in the back, you can see you have one beacon there and you have two beacons if you select the dual beacon option. Pretty nifty. Even a, even a license plate in the back, 2104FS. I wonder if they all say 2404 FS. Yeah, 2104. I don't know. I, maybe it means something. Maybe not. Um, yeah, this one here. Here you have the um, front loader attacher with the PAVT rim, the spin out rims. There's the standard one. Here's the PAVT rim. Uh, dual beacons as well. And then, um, you know, you get the PAVT rims with. Um, with fenders, here's the road tire ones, here's the uh, the twin wheels all around, and then the twin wheels with the fenders, and um, that would just be uh, standard. Um, no, wide tires. Um, is wide tires an option? Standard front wheel fenders, PVT rim fenders. Yeah, wide tires. That one's wide tires. Okay, thought I had a wide tire option there um, compared to the standard. Yeah, standard, standard with fenders, wide tires. Yep. Oh, and front linkage, front linkage and front loader attacher as well. 
So that is that series tractor. Those would be the big horsepower, the 124 horsepower with all kinds of different options. Road tires, I just don't know. Why would you, I just don't know about road tires on a tractor. I mean, they're, they're, they're interesting. Um, so be it. Okay, a couple other things to look at and then we can wrap this up. Um, let's go to the loader attachers. You have four of them. Um, when you go into loaders, if you go all the way, you notice you have the um, the 875, which has which has been in here. That is with those 200 series tractors, I believe. And now we have an 810, an 880, an 893. Okay, so the 810 is going to be the loader to use with the 362 to 382 tractors. The 880 is going to be the 365 to 390T tractors. And the 893 is going to be for the 398-99. There are no options in here except the last one, which you can have either standard or angle reference. I'll show you that in a second. So I just have them on, I have them on the tractor. Here's the 810 on a 362. Here is the 880 on a 365. A little bit of a difference. Color, black, you know. And then finally, you ha we have the um, 893 loader on the 399. Um, pretty cool how the uh, hydraulic hoses for the loader are in there, um, as well as the hoses in the front. That's pretty nifty. I like that. Here they are. Yep going to the cylinders the detail is, is pretty impressive um, I am a big fan of that I, I actually like them I like them a lot the angle reference option on the last one is this what this does is if you're sitting in the cab uh, you can set this so it'll tell you when your bucket is level um, I don't know if it if it changes here yeah see the rod So when you tilt the bucket forward and backwards, let's go out here, that rod changes. So it'll tell you when your bucket is level. Now this will hook up. This is a Massey Ferguson bucket that's been in game. Um, so if you're sitting in the cab, you kind of just have to give a reference that that is where your bucket is level. Um, like on the farm, we have a new Holland Boomer tractor and I do a lot of snow blowing with it. And it has one of those rods, so you're you're looking at the rod. Um, it has like a little indentation in it when the when the when the bucket or snowblower in this case would be level, because you can't you can't actually see it from the cab. So that's what that does. So that's that's pretty cool. So if you, if you like to do the uh, in cab driving a lot, you would know when your bucket is um, is level. So that's the difference with that. Uh, as far as I can tell, all these loaders work with um, in-game loader attachers. You know, if you go to the front loader, because there it work, it picks up here. Um, and actually, I'm kind of impressed um, how it kind of attaches. I know the uh, bottom here seems to be a little bit. Oops, can't find an angle. Bottom seems to be a little bit off, but it, it you know it does it does work. So as far as I can be can tell, they should work with all the uh, front loader attachers. So yeah, so those are the loaders, uh, three sizes depending on what size tractor you 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 get. Okay, and when you go into the loaders, it'll tell you what tractor. You know this one's the 365 to 390. This one's the 362 to 382. So and that's all that all corresponds with what. Um, group you are in here. Pretty, pretty simple. The last little thing we'll cover is when you go into weights, there are two weights included with this. The front weights of 270 kilograms for 600 bucks and the weight box of 1200 kilograms for 850 bucks. Okay, so what it is is here's the front weight. When you buy it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come like this in a box. You know, I would call these suitcase weights so you would just um, set them on the uh, the front of the tractor and then usually there's a rod that goes through the middle of them and you, and you tighten it together to hold them on there so well I don't I really don't need to start the tractor up but when you hook it up it comes out of the box and uh, sits on there just like that 
pretty nifty. The back one is this one, the box weight, pretty cool. Massey Ferguson on the back, I like that a lot. Um, when you hop into the tractor here, and if you were to hook it up, three point in the back, we'll lift it up and give you a weight. So that's pretty cool. I, li I like that a lot as well. So you do have some options with uh, not only the trackers, you got some weights and some um, loaders as well. But that pretty much sums up this uh, 300 series pack. Lots of options, lots of tractors, um, but pretty neat. Awesome mod. Um, I know they've been highly anticipated. A little controversial going back and forth with this mod and uh, and uh, Giants, but uh, Peter J and NI modding, absolutely outstanding. Um, my my by far my favorite tractors in the game are these um, old Massey Ferguson ones, just because of the uh, the detail and the and the and I don't know the coolness of them. But uh, yeah, very cool tractors. So that's it. That'll wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful, maybe explained a few things. Um, if you did, give us a like. I would appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hey, do that as well. But from the Valley of the Old Farm, Farmer Min telling you, have yourself a great day and keep between the ditches. So long.